It's 1032 here in Florida. Peace and love and blessings to everybody. Okay, you guys, uh, what I want to do this morning is I just want to share some of my thoughts on what's going on with YouTube once again. And not only what's going on with YouTube, <clears throat> excuse me, but what's within my own heart. Uh, now, I'm almost 60 years old. I've been saved for 49 years. Uh, 17 out of the last 20 years, I went through some very heavy, heavy spiritual warfare. It was unbelievable. And I was on my face day after day, sometimes two, three, four times a day. Sometimes I'd be walking around my neighborhood just freaking out not understanding what was going on with me, why I was going through what I was going through. I was going through a faith fight. Uh, but the Lord waged the war. In order for me to teach what I am teaching now about His love, His mercy, His grace, and His forgiveness, and that we are saved and we are sealed to the day of redemption, we may lose everything in our lives. And I have put this on some of y'all's channels. We may lose every single, single thing in our lives, but there is one thing that we will never, ever, ever, ever lose, and that's God. You know, at the end of the book of Job, Job said, I have heard of you, but now I see you, and that's the way I feel. Even though I was saved for 49 years. 49 years, but I never once felt like the Lord had left me, ever. Now, he waged that war, but it was for his purpose, his will, and for his glory, and for my good, uh, and for the good of others, because now I am preaching and I am teaching the true gospel. For me, on this channel, on YouTube, this is not a popularity contest for me. I, I don't care. And, and I'm sorry, I might be upsetting some people right now with my words. And I don't mean to because I love every single one of you in Jesus' name. And the only reason why I'm doing what I'm doing is because, well, I can't stand seeing people in fear. And the things that I have learned, not only biblically out of the book, But from him, from him, directly, day after day on my face, for 17 years, learning the things I have learned about his love. <clears throat> if we do not have a foundation of love, faith, grace, his blood, your foundation is off and it is skewed. God is love. He is love. You know, when we indwell the Holy Spirit by believing in our Lord Jesus, the agape spirit of love, the fruits of the Spirit, are love, peace, joy, kindness, meekness, long-suffering, patience. You know, gentleness, kindness, all the things, all the fruits of love. And it's very simple. You know, he doesn't want us to hurt one another. He doesn't want us to hurt him. He doesn't want us to hurt ourselves. It's very, very simple. He gave us a heart of flesh instead of a heart of stone. He is indwelled, we are indwelled with Him. He is communing with our spirit and with our will. Our will not to sin. Our will, our will to love God. Our will to love man. You know, uh, <clears throat> when I was a little girl, and some of you have heard this story, I got my first bike, my first real bike. I had a tricycle when I was real little. And my dad actually uh, accidentally ran over it with a car, with his car. And then I didn't get another bike till I was, I think I was 10 or 11. And, well, it was a big deal. I was so happy. And uh, I was saved from very, very little. I was in awe of God as a 
life. Have I been perfect all my life? No, I have not. But, you know, it says in Leviticus 17 and 11, for the life of the flesh is in the blood. And I have given it to you to atone for your sin. I've given it to you upon the altar to atone for your sin. Jesus was the perfect, unblemished, spotless Lamb of God. One time atonement in Hebrews 10.10. 10, for all sin, for all who would believe in Him. And after we know we are set free, that we are forgiven, that we are sanctified, that we are justified, that we've been redeemed, whew, that we're white as snow, that when Father God looks down upon us, and all He sees at that point is His Son's precious blood covering us.
And I'm going to finish that statement because I had to uh, redo this video. He said it is finished. For God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. He gave a part of himself. And all we have to do is believe. You know, our brother Calvin made a good statement in the last video he did. Why did Jesus have to die if all of a sudden now we can keep the law? We, keep, we couldn't keep it then. We can't keep it now. There's so much filth in the flesh. There's so much different types of filth in the flesh. Greed, hostility, uh, no patience. Uh, oh, I could go on and on, you guys. I, I could make a list probably, a, goodness, at least uh, 50 items on it in the flesh that is unbecoming of God, you know. He is one for all and all for one. He is love. And that's why he doesn't want us to hurt him. Because if we're not doing what he wants us to do, which is loving him and loving man. If we're not doing what he wants us to do, well, then, you know then that could be doing something that is hurting one another. But he is all for one and one for all. He is love. And he wants us to love him. And if we're listening to him, then we're loving one another. Because he's telling us, love one another. Bear with each other in love. And I'm only doing these videos because I'm just trying to teach the truth about his blood atonement, his propitiation, his expiation what he did for us and we cannot make that of no effect in vain i'm going to put out a lot of teaching videos and and i just pray that people watch them just you know have an open heart and ear to hear and uh, i'm you know i have a, i have a lot of videos going from a to z from the law all the way to the better thing to come which is our lord jesus he is the law of life he is the law of love you know, we go from the mind of enmity, hostility, the mind of the flesh, to the mind of the spirit, which is life and peace in Christ. And we only do that when we realize who we are in Christ. That we've been saved and sealed, redeemed, justified, sanctified on the inner man upon believing. We are saved, we are sealed to the day of redemption, Ephesians 4.30. And no one, no one, no one can pluck you out of his hands. Not even you. That is my message. God bless each and every one of you. I love you. Amen and amen.